Hey guys, this is Tim from Twice Circled, and welcome back to some more Mega Aquarium. I have no idea what we're going to do today, but yeah, let's just play the game. There's uh, quite a... I've, I've been working a little bit ahead of the, the gameplay for once, so um, I can... I think I could go up a few ranks and I'd be able to just work. You know, normally, I don't know, a couple of months ago, I was kind of like coding at the same time as playing the game, um, but now I'm, I, I'm basically... Most of the game is basically in. In fact, one of the cool things I've added, don't know if we've unlocked it yet, is the podium. Yeah, I think we might get it next rank. Wow, that's a busy rank. Available at next rank at rank 7. Hmm. I think this is when it should unlock, to be fair. But I don't know if it's just gone off the end there. Anyway, that would be cool to show you. That's Staff Talks. So um, anyway, it might be this vlog, it might be another vlog. Let's not worry about it. So first thing I'm just seeing is there's a bit of a lack of plant problem here. So let's 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 get rid of some of these old plants. Um, put in something that's a little bit more efficient, something that adds our plants in slightly higher quantity. I think we got better than that. I think we got the feather up. which is a nice one. It's two two plants per square, but it's shallow, so you can put it in shallow tanks. Great for some of the more um, demanding reef fish. Um, and it is worth thinking about making some of these double height tanks uh, because these are kind of prime real estate at the front of our thing really. I mean, <laughs> this is, uh, I'm not sure what happened. I think I might have reduced the amount of capacity that happened uh, in these, sh these uh, shallow tanks, which is why this has like a capacity over the number, which shouldn't really happen. Yeah, I'm tempted. Is there any, any reef fish that we want to get into a tank here? Oh, we've got the clownfish. When did we do that? Um, yeah, let's go. Let's put some of those in there. Okay, so a little bit of it. I think we've got space over here. So what I do is drag these over here. We're going to put a deep tank in. It doesn't matter if we over... Uh, the only problem with having a an oversized tank is that you have to deal with this whole platform business, right? And also the heating requirements are based on the size of the tank, not the number of fish you have. So if you are going to leave the tank a little bit empty, then that can be a bit wasteful. And the problem with these larger ones is they actually require more skill, so they actually take longer to fix if you, unless you have skilled workers. So there is a little bit to think about, but I think it's worth it, especially as we're actually over capacity here anyway. So the next thing I'm going to do is put all the animals in. And then we can start looking at water quality, which doesn't update in real time as it should but hey whatever uh it's not oh that's the other tank no it does update my bad my bad having a go at my game unnecessarily there um now we're gonna need a little bit more space for um, added some more shortcuts now so i can press x to switch to the delete mode and then i can press m to move which is so nice so if i wanted to move stuff i can press m and i can just do this now do you remember I've been talking about doing that for so long, I finally got that in. Okay, so let's move across. Look, press M. Oh, not the whole thing. I obviously just want the, the one thing. And there's two ways of doing it. You actually know you can't. You can right click there. Um, or we can just press M and then cl click directly on it like that. Uh, we've, we've got enough heating, so I'm going to just sell this heater. Uh, we do want to move across these decorations though. Um, don't necessarily need these rocks. We'll just leave those there for now. Let's put, see what else we're going to put in here. So we're going to put some clownfish in. Now, clownfish is one of the ones I needed to do a little bit more work on because they don't currently need their anemone, uh, but they, they will do. Um, and that's just, uh, it's just such a small little thing. What I'm doing at the moment is writing the campaign and making all those levels. So there's a load of little, like, kind of individual jobs for individual fish and animals that I need to go back and fill up, but that's stuff I can do pretty late. Um, let's just put the old phone on silent. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. So now we've got those in there. Is there anything size 4 that we want to just stick in here? Now if we don't have any bullies, we could put this guy in. Is this a bully? This is a whip. Sorry, if we don't have any wimps, we could put him in. Um... What's a good one? Have we unlocked anything cool? 
I'm not sure how many of these we've got. I really want to put a fish count in. God, I, there's all these little UX stuff I'd love to put in. Let's put... Oh, that's not quite enough space for that guy. Um, striped boxfish. He doesn't grow up. Well, he's quite a good choice, actually. No stony corals or starfish. Well, no worries there. It will put up the amount, the water quality requirements of the tank a little bit. But, um, you know, could be worth it. He's in a good spot. All right. Okay, now massive water quality requirements. Here's the cool thing. We've now actually got access to live rock. So these give a higher amount of filtering than our normal ones. So actually, they're quite expensive in comparison. 23 to 9, twice the price. It's actually, I think I need to ramp that up a little bit. But then again, it's only two. It's not like, I don't know, not ridiculously overpowered or anything. Now, they didn't have a huge effect. I definitely want to look into this. I might rebalance some of this stuff. I like the idea of you being able to do more with stuff in your tanks. Um, I mean, obviously, the filters have to be, like, the main source. Let's put a little protein skimmer on. Oh, my God. Exactly 75. That's perfect. So that should be a bit better. It's 120 to 14. Looking a bit better. Ignore these prestige numbers. That's actually a little bug um, because of some of the other work I've been doing lately. I haven't actually noticed that. Um... See, it's a bit misleading to put prestige numbers on your tanks because they don't always earn that amount. That's like, um, in fact, these are all zero anyway. Um, because it depends on whether they've seen the animal before, then whether you get the prestige. I don't want to like mislead people and make them think that if they just like stick the same animal in like 10 tanks in a row, and then this number is like whatever that value is, 10 or something, that they're going to get 10 prestige from each one. Because actually what they'll do is they'll probably get 10 from the first or the second, and then they'll start complaining about seeing the same thing all the time. Um, whereas the ecology and science points you do get every time. It's like something you can really like farm. Anyway, enough about that. So there's a little bit of an extra update there. We got this cold water one over here. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Maybe we should use this tank. Uh, we've got loads of money. When did that happen? Uh, this just needs fixing. How are we doing for staff? We've still got access to one more stuff. Let's just hire him. How are we doing for money? Like, our staff costs, they, they're climbing, but they're still tiny. This is definitely something I will vary depending on difficulty level. On, like, easy or normal, um, the staff salaries will be a bit of a problem, but they'll be, you know, manageable. But if once you go up to, like, the hard difficulty level, or maybe if I do, like, a insane or something difficult level, I'm going to ramp these up a lot, like, at least double, if not triple, so that you're working with much finer um, margins. I don't want to do that on the normal difficulty level because I think people might get frustrated with how slow they then have to get to expand. But if you're looking for like what a game which is like a properly an economic challenge where you're really having to actually watch your costs all the time, then you know play on that harder difficulty level, um, and then like staff costs and food costs will be a much bigger uh, factor. But just get ready to maybe have to wait around a little bit if your if your <laughs> if your profit is only like a few hundred, you're going to really struggle to to afford to build some of the big ones. You have to save up. Or you'll be able to do a lot of like uh, subquests uh, to get some uh, some extra money. Cries will tank. This is finally in for jellyfish. Uh, or we could go for the next um, gift shop thing. Expand our gift shop. Our money income's kind of okay, so I think I'm going to go for the nitrate reactor. It just opens up options for high um, high water quality levels. Um, and this is our massive tank. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to make this scroll. It's a bit of a pain uh, with all these different. Um, <laughs> when you put this much in a single one. I guess I could do something like these all stack and then you just get like a number in the corner. That would be an elegant solution. Again, one of those things I could do quite close to release, uh, but I'm not going to worry too much about right now. I could definitely put more stuff in this tank, actually. I guess these epaulets are going to grow up. Uh, what size will they grow to? 24. Mm, yeah, I could probably fit some more stuff in there. Currently going for a turbo, so we should probably plan another cold water tank. We've just got the two cold water tanks at the moment. We've got this one and this one. And they're both, are they both full? Yeah. All right, so that's definitely something to think about. I don't think this is going to be much use. I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, and I want to plan a new cold water tank, maybe around the back here. So there we go. So moon jellyfish, this is the one that needs the chrysal tank. Um, because basically, they're not really, they're quite delicate things obviously jellyfish and keeping them in a normal tank they're prone to hurting themselves on the edge of the tank uh, they're not used to being in that tiny area think about it they used to be in like in the sea 
which is like the biggest tank on the planet. Um, so if you are going to keep them confined, then what you have to do is actually provide a circular flow round and round the tank to keep them just moving and not hitting the walls. Uh, whereas, yeah, because they'll damage themselves on the wall otherwise. Um, these guys actually do grow to a decent size, but they take quite a long time to grow. And this this is messed up at the moment. This this is not how they're meant to look. Uh, but again, it's just like a little graphical thing, so um, it's not a massive priority for me. This is a good one for shark tanks. Attempts to get the raven butterfly fish, now we're getting the nitro reactor. It's just a good one to like increase our prestige levels on some of our small kind of reef reef tanks. Because um, some of these are like very early, right? So these could definitely do the upgrade. This is another one I could make deep and then add some of these higher ranked stuff. Wow, a lot of people want to sit down. I'll just give them normal benches because quite honestly the padded bench doesn't actually do anything different at the moment. But uh, I, it, I will be making it better. Um, and you know, this is actually a really good spot to put some facilities, right? So, a couple of toilets. Ooh, coffee vending machine. Let's get some more money. Actually, yeah, go on, let's do one of each like that. One of the things I'm learning from playing the game a bit more is that, uh, these guys have grown up, is that, um, spacing stuff out is actually quite a good idea. That cramming stuff in, it, it has advantages, okay? It, it absolutely does. There, I'm not saying there isn't um, some sort of like benefit if you do manage to stuff, cram, uh, cram stuff in um, efficiently, but leave if you if you cram too tightly and you don't have space to kind of backfill with stuff as you need it, you you can cause yourself some headaches. Um, there was one thing I was doing when I was designing the system of how the prestige gets earned that. The bigger your aquarium is, the more prestige you will earn, like full stop. It isn't a game where like a very, very small tight aquarium will earn more prestige, but a very, very small tight aquarium will earn more prestige per square, per, per animal if you like. But um, yeah, bigger is bigger, right? More is more, as I like to say. So, and that's really important because it's called Mega Aquarium, right? Not uh, Boutique Aquarium. Could we go for another one of these? I do. Oh, you know what? Some crabs would be cool. Again, they're messed up, but putting some crabs in with our, our new cold water tank would be really cool. Um, let's get rid of these padded benches. <laughs> All right, so let's do this. You're going to see the tanks are going to start getting quite expensive. Should we do a tunnel tank? I mean, it's a little bit messed up, if I'm honest with you. The fish fly through the tunnel. Again, something I can fix closer to launch. Um, but I think it's a bit of fun, isn't it? Um, and they, they could walk through and get to this like new area. Yeah, why the hell not? Something like this. Um, oops, press the wrong button there. I went into delete mode. Oh, actually, what I do want to do is carve. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get access to this thing. I'm going to do access down like this, and then we'll have some... I don't know what I'm going to put in it yet. Let's fill it with stuff first. Wall, and then something like this, and then like what we can do is like make a new little area over here. Uh, but at the moment, we'll just kind of wrap them through. But um, <laughs> it's like a guidebook floating there. <laughs> anyway, choose research. Uh, let's get this crap. And for some reason, I thought I'd already done that, but that didn't work. So let's just do it again. That's a weird thing that's happening sometimes. I don't know what it is. Oh, look at this guy. Look, he's walking through the tunnel. So that bit's not buggy at all. That bit works really nicely. It's just the fish. <laughs> Need to give them some collision detection. Okay, so we definitely want to put some turbots in here. How about three turbots? Um, have we got any Balan Rass yet? Time to rank up, guys. Wow, we absolutely blitzed through that last rank, didn't we? Wow. All of the things. Wow, that's awesome. Feeding stick. Rank 7. Oh, I still have the feeling that we're meant to get the podium. That's strange. That's strange. Um... 
So yeah, the feeding stick, that's for stick feeding. So this leopard shark is the first animal that should be stick fed. So that means that you don't, can't just like toss the food in from the side. You have to actually go like, get a special tool and feed from the side. And um, it has slightly different kind of like time things. And they, it also has more skill required. It, it's more, um, if you're staff are unskilled it takes them disproportionately more time if they're skilled then actually it will take a very similar amount of time for the size of the animal as to do normal feeding so it's just something else to think about you want to kind of like deliberately focus your skilled guys on on those tasks so there's definitely some interesting decisions to be made we've also got access to we'll be able to start unlocking the next guide shop thing new food wow there's just tons of stuff here i'd love to get this lobster for our cold water possibly these lump suckers too uh, in the higher levels, as you can see, you start to get like a lot of choice of the stuff you want to go uh, go for, and the, the ranks get further apart as well. All right, let's just pause this, right? Uh, okay. So we haven't actually got that crab yet, have we? How are we doing for other cold water stuff? So we've got some really, really messed up starfish here. These are full-size starfish, but they're like totally messed up for some reason. Um, and we've got these are cods, right? Yeah. Oh no, pollock. Yeah, they're pollock. I don't know if we've actually got any wrasse in our place yet. Get some wrasse in the house. Okay, cool. We've got two types of wrasse that we haven't actually put in here yet. So one, two, three, four, five. You don't need me to count along every time, do you? Now you can start to see that these cave requirements are now starting to get quite big. Okay, so this needs 38 cave. Okay, so now you see why we have to start unlocking these these higher, uh, these bigger size things. Now this pitted column can only go in deep tanks. Um, let's see if that actually works. Let me let me find a shallow tank and like click on it. Well, I'll test that another time. I'm pretty sure that works. Um, but it provides a lot of stuff, right? So that provides 12 on its own. Wow, that's actually. We're surprisingly close to the I'm gonna need to put quite a lot of these guys in and it's because we've chosen to put two things okay it's the cookie rest and the balan rest both need um, quite a lot of cave so you know if we didn't want to do that we might have gone for just one of them um, we could have spread out our cave dwellers a little bit more um, I think we want to go we're just gonna have to fill it up with caves though and now there is a big even bigger cave available later Let's just turn that round. It looks a bit lame. Actually, if we move it down to like that. Now we just need two more. So we could either put a little driftwood cave in or a big rocky overhang. Let's just go for a little driftwood cave in the corner. All right, so we've got our caves in. We just need loads of chilling now. Um, how are we doing for size? We could fit quite a lot more in, but I've got to say, I think all of these grow up, right? So this grows to size 19. Uh, these each grow to size 11 and 14 a piece so yeah most of these are growing by roughly 10 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so that's like 140 extra site stuff so yeah this will definitely fill the tank i'm actually thinking i'm just going to get rid of a couple of these because if you don't let them all grow you're kind of not utilizing them to their full potential and actually this way we've got a lot more space and we don't need to have uh, quite as much cave So we got the large chiller, which is very useful. It's going to need a bit more chilling. Can't wait till we get the mega chiller. When are we going to get that? Well, in due course, this research window, as I've been telling you for ages, will eventually show you what's coming up as well as what's currently available. So I guess we go for... Do we have the double filter yet? Yeah, but it's only the two one. At this point, we're still better off going for something like this um, not the highest water quality required but when these grow up that will decrease things and then the final thing is just getting some food so we've got cockles and mussels in fact if we turn them like this then when the person comes to do both of them they will actually have an easier time and then we need to just we've got odd job who goes everywhere <laughs> feeder one Feeder two. Okay, feeder two. This is your job now. Let's just make sure that gets covered. Happy little aquarium. 
I've done some optimization, so the game's running a little bit better than it was last time, which is excellent, because uh, there's quite a lot going on now. But um, I've got a really big aquarium that I use to record the latest trailer. It's not out yet, guys, but um, it's going to be coming out very sh shortly and when I announce the release date. Uh, just a little heads up for you. But the yeah, I've made a huge aquarium with, like, rank 12 animals, which um, I've said this a lot, right, but people keep asking, will there be big animals? Okay. There, there is a tank that can grow, that you can make this big, okay? You see what I'm, like, outlining with my, my mouse? You can build a tank that big, and you can have animals that are roughly uh, six of these squares long. Well, the very biggest animal is that size, and you've got a couple which are more like three or four squares long. So, uh, yes, you can get animals that are, like, several times the size of a human. Uh, but, yeah, so I've gone all the way to the end in that one, and it's the aquarium itself is probably about... I don't know, a little over twice this size, and I have to admit, it's uh, it does run at kind of 30, 40 frames per second on this computer. Um, actually, no, wait, let me. That's that's a little bit better than that. Actually, I think it's it's 30 to 40 in the in my editor, right, where it runs a bit slower. It's a little bit more than that. Anyway, but I want it running obviously at 60 frames a second, um, especially because it's quite a powerful computer. But don't worry, guys. Optimization is definitely one of those things that I can do at the end right at the moment i'm in this big thing which is i've got to get the game translated so i have to write all the text for the game i have to basically make the the game uh structure yeah so the campaign and then the sandbox mode and the menus and all of that sort of stuff but then actually you'd be surprised but a lot of the very subtle kind of gameplay interactions and things i can be tweaking that pretty much up to release as long as it doesn't change any text um I definitely want to add some more ui windows so things like being able to see like all of your fish at a glance be able to see how many you have of each fish I'm not sure how to do that. I'd love some ideas from you guys. Like, it'd be great to know how many fish you have of each type here. But I don't want to, like, make this... I don't want to make this messy. I don't... We could have, like, a little hotkey. Like, you hold a, hold a modifier down. And it these all disappear. And it just says, like, you currently have five. And it's got, like, a big number. I mean, that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? For just, like, scrolling down. Rather than having to, like, cross-reference with another window. So I think something like that would probably be good. It's just making it work well without, like, confusing new players. Because obviously this is the build window. This isn't what you have. This is what you could have. But of course those two things are quite connected, so... And also I definitely want to have a sort of... Issues window. So, like, these are the things that are currently a problem. Because once your aquarium gets big, scrolling around and seeing all the little issues... Plus some stuff doesn't even get shown. Uh, you have to actually go and click on them. Oh, I think we need to put a sponge in. Have I, guys, have I shown you guys, like, the uh, the scrubbing? Where's the new... I don't know, where should we put this? This seems like a decent place. So someone's going to come and grab a sponge here and then walk over here and clean this. Uh, again, a lot of optimization that I could be doing here, but I'm not because I, I don't want to bore you guys if I just spend all my time optimizing. Mega heat is always good, I've got to say. Or we could go for the latest tank. Tanks are useful. Oh, and here's my cat jumping up on the table. Hopefully, she won't knock the mic. <laughs> Audrey, all right, I'm just going to have to little, just place you down, all right? Yeah, this is a new thing since my partner went away for a couple of weeks. Uh, and normally, she kind of distracts the cats during the day. But uh, when it's just me in the house, it's uh, that little bit... Uh, get that little bit more attention uh, from, from the kitty cats. All right. Let's go for the Mega Heater because I just... Flipping love equipment. I always just research equipment. I've got to say, I'm just... Um, it's just such a... Keeping your stuff, like, uh, fixed. And I like it like this. Get, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I like that there's a bit of a tension there. But it's hard work. Okay. This is all tropical except this. Moon Jelly and Chrysler would be good to get together. It's really annoying because it's like, which one do you get first? It's like, you, you kind of want both at the same time. Um... This was probably a good opportunity. They're both about to finish. I could have got both of those. Okay, let's go for the Bartlett and Piers, because that would be good for this upgrade that we're going to do over here. Let's see if someone cleans this. I do just like love watching the... <laughs> I do just love watching the, the game just unfold. Look at these guys enjoying their chocolate bars. Scrub! Who's this? Dante. Oh no, this is Clean Feed. <laughs> Scrub, Clean Feed! Scrub! 
So I probably look blowing your ears off shouting into the microphone. I apologize. Now once we get this mega heater, we can replace these with uh, with bigger ones. The big tank, right, man, it's mad. The, 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 the biggest tank, you need about like six of these to heat. Oh, sorry, not, even, not six of these, six of these massive ones. Um, which is kind of insane. Oh, another thing I'd love, did I tell you about this? I can't remember, is a sort of like percentage saying what what rate, uh, how many of the guests in the aquarium have see, have looked at this tank would be really interesting to kind of see if you, what your coverage ratio is, and whether you need another tank with similar fish or uh, whether you need to have a better layout. Look at these guys using my little tunnel. Such, such cuties. Um... I don't really know guys, I mean I should probably wrap up this vlog really, I mean, I don't know, I just kind of like watching and just letting, making sure everything's okay, our prestige is moving in the right direction, so it's all pr looking pretty tight, alright thank you very much for watching guys, I'm going to wrap it up there, it's cool I got to finally show you the tunnel tank, um, and hopefully next time I might be able to show you the podium and the guest talks, because uh, that's, that's pretty cool, alright thanks for watching guys, I will speak to you in the next one, bye bye.